Okay, this one is on the, the Snyder General GUA model furnace. And I was going to go over how the pressure switch works on this thing. This thing has a uh, centrifugal switch and a blower, but it's also got a pressure switch. Now that pressure switch, that's located up there on the upper right, uh, is supposed to shut off if the uh, combustion air inlet, which is right in front of you there, which has a sensing tube right there in the middle of that pipe, uh, goes up to the pressure switch right there and senses if the combustion air inlet is blocked. Okay, the other side of the pressure switch is hooked up to the manifold area for the vent pipe, so if the vent pipe gets blocked, it will also shut off the uh, uh, pressure switch. Okay, I've got this thing uh, started up, the inducer's running, and I've got a uh, meter across the pressure switch so we can see what would cause this pressure switch to open. Normally this thing is normally closed. Okay, here I'm set up with the meter on it. I just blocked off the vent pipe. We're still showing uh, closed. Now it's opened up because I have blocked off that vent pipe. So if the vent pipe was blocked, then this thing should uh, shut down and not like the burn. And here we are covering up the uh, combustion air inlet and again you'll see the pressure switch does open when it's completely blocked off. Okay so that's the pressure switch in the GUA model furnace. Uh, the pressure switch has no way to test itself. It does not have to uh, move. It does not have to prove either open or closed uh, before the burner will start. So it's very common for these things to eventually stick. And when they stick, of course, they don't work and there's no protection for it. So they're a safety device, but they're really not all that great. Anyway, that's that pressure switch on the GUA.